I'm Carol Fallon with a double shot right outside the building where UW's spiciest club teaches salsa dancing lessons. And they've got big plans in store for Valentine's Day. The dance is fiery, intimate, a way to meet students of the opposite sex. With Valentine's Day fast approaching, it is the perfect opportunity to learn how to move and learn how to lay on the moves. I personally think it's a really great way to meet uh, your significant other, future significant other. So bring a couple, go by yourself, you'll have fun either way. There's definitely many people who, you know, become couples after dancing because it's just when two people are passionate about something, that's what, what bonds them. And if it's dance, like, all the better. Salsa Club President Dimitri Levin, along with club officers, teach salsa dance classes every Tuesday night from 6.45 to 9 p.m. The practices take place in the Ethnic Cultural Center, an appropriate building known for opening its doors to cultural events and experiences. Quarter-long membership for the Salsa Club is just $10, or it's $3 per lesson. Although the lessons can be a chance to meet potential suitors, it doesn't have to be that way if you don't want it to be. Many who come say it's not all about the romance. Some people come for the friendships. My favorite part is getting to see all the people here, like so many people I know and then like I'm good friends with. So it has been a short while but I've made good friends, so seeing them, doing salsa with them is like always fun. You don't need to be in a relationship to come dance or have a couple. Because the nature of social dancing is being social. You just go out there, and as scary as it might seem at first, you just go up to a partner, a guy or a girl, and you ask them to dance. Even so, many students also come simply because they love to dance. Salsa is like so much creativity, and like you can just mess around with it. And um, there are these things called shines, where you like break away from your partner and you do whatever you want. And I really enjoy those because you literally just like make up whatever you want and you just do it. During salsa lessons, the more experienced dancers teach the class. After warming up, the class begins at a more comfortable pace. Step by step, the dancers lay out the routine. Since the dance can be seductive, students have to find a way to be more comfortable with one another. Sometimes, you just need to let go. If the song calls for a stop and you need to get sexy, I want y'all to get sexy. So, <laughs> sexy movements of choice, I'll give you an option here. Uh, body rolls. This is a good enough comfortable situation for everyone so it doesn't get awkward. So there is like chances if people mingle with each other, I think like that's, that's good, but it doesn't get awkward. Instructor Dimitri Levin has the students stand in a circle around the room and pair up. After learning a few moves, the students rotate partners, a chance for every dancer to go hand in hand with one another. Internet sites like eHarmony or even Tinder just don't compare. What better way to meet someone than through a dance class? With a chance to dance and mingle with multiple partners, the dating pool expands. If you're worried about spending Valentine's Day alone or can't find a way to top last year's date with your significant other, the Salsa Club has the perfect event for you. They are holding a winter social on Valentine's Day in Gould Hall from 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. The event will be a salsa-themed opportunity for students to dance to a live band. Tickets are just $5 for UW students and $8 for the general public. Put yourself out there. I mean, like, don't just sit at home and, like, gripe about being single. To find out more information on how you could join the UW Salsa Club or attend their Valentine's Day social, just visit their Facebook page, facebook.com slash salsaclubuw.